Oh no, what is this? Is this happening? Yes, it is. Hello, good people. My name is Robin, the languishing Spelunky lecturer. But we're not playing Spelunky here. Oh no, we're not. We're playing, as you can see, Sid Meier's Civilization 6. Civ 6. I want to show some of this game on video. And so we're going to do it. I, you know, it's a game I've been playing quite a bit in the past year and a bit. And I want to share some of it. And, you know, famous 4X strategy game. S long, slow game. But I want to do it. So we're creating a game and we're going to make a video. I want to play as Japan. Kojo Tokimune. Never pl I don't really know this man. I'm not familiar with his playstyle, but we'll figure it out. And notice he has the Triforce here. Isn't that perfect? We're playing on Deity difficulty, the hardest one. It's what I always do. It's what I prefer playing as. And we're leaving everything else bog standard. Standardest you can have. And we're starting the game. No modes, no various map types, no nothing. And we'll see how the game treats us. Probably mainly, DD difficulty is stupidly stacked against the player. Your only saving grace is that the AI is not particularly smart. But let's see how we can do this. So no voiceovers, in particular if you want to read the dramatic introduction. Do it yourself. It's great. And let's talk a bit about his abilities. So being Japan, he has Meiji Restoration. Which means all your districts get strong adjacency from just being next to other districts. Usually other civilizations need two adjacent districts to get one extra yield. You need only one, which is actually quite powerful. When I see this, I think of heavy industrialization. Like put your industrial zones next to aqueducts and dams and they'll get three extra production instead of two or two and a half. And that's just amazing. Comparatively, Divine Wind, that's Tokimune's personal ability. The main thing for us will be that he builds some districts faster. Encampment, Holy Site, and Theater Squares get built in half the time. That's pretty strong. But as you can see, pretty generalist as well, because there's like three different district types. None of them being industrial, so there's a bit of a push and pull here. Where those are more incentivized, even though those industrial zones get the highest bonuses. So, we'll see. How I do this. Definitely we'll start by getting a religion. So I feel I'm going to start playing this game as a uh, second-hand store Russia. So fast holy sites, but they're not as good as Russian holy sites still. So we'll see how that goes. The other part of his ability is extra combat strength for land units near the coast or boats on shallow water. And extra benefits from hurricanes. They don't damage the pram, but they do damage their enemies more. That's a reference to actually a bit of history. Back whenever, medieval times, uh, Kublai Khan of China tried to inv uh, of Mongolia, not of China technically, tried to invade Japan, and this man gloriously defended it with the help of a typhoon who blew away Mongolian ships. And they call that the divine wind, kamikaze. Nothing to do with suicide fighters from modern times, of course. And such an interesting way of realizing a historical fact into the game. Even though I would like to play peacefully. We'll see how that goes. We're starting the game now. Here's our start. This is a pretty nice looking start. Okay, this is actually a pretty strong start. I feel bad. I feel bad for all this. I moved my water here to get some vision. So. <clears throat> Sorry. Pretty strong start because we got two luxuries which are both pretty close. We have the coast, so we can build a nice harbor. And we have three different 2-2 two -two towers right here. I think what I want to do is settle in place. It's not the obvious, most obvious choice, but if I settle in place, we'll, if we'll have, we have the, this luxury on the second ring, so we'll probably grow there very soon. Bananas are fine. And citrus will grow, we'll get them eventually. They'll be on the third ring, we might just buy that tile. And if I settle in place, this stays a 2 2 tile, and we still have two 2 2 tiles around us. So we have fine food. Getting four food in your start is good. So you work your city center and another tile. So we have four food, which is fine. Standard. Try not get less. And then four production of our, of our work tiles. That's quite good. 
So we're going to grow in eight turns and build a scout. We usually start with a scout in five. Quite happy with that. Decent stuff indeed. And we want to get a religion, so we go for astrology first. It's quite important. I think the land is going to end over there. It's never quite obvious, but we want to do reasonable scouting. So I'm actually going to send my warrior up here in case barbarians spawn next to us. Oh, here's a tribal village. Not bad. I earn spices. Okay. This is a really... Oh, here's some barbarians. Okay. We got the boost of foreign trade in that village. You know what? That's not the worst. We also met Geneva. We're the first people to meet them. So they're giving us a free envoy. We're getting extra science. And they'll give us a next, a further envoy once we build a government plaza. Good. Honestly, very strong start. Three turns until our population grows. Three turns until we get that very nice tower. Well, I'm gonna get a slinger, I think. Usually a good start is just get a scout and then go for settlers. And get a slinger if you need units to defend. Here we're growing a bit faster than our production. So, I'm. we're growing a bit slower than our production. So I could put some turns in the slinger. I'm going to get the experience here. I don't think we can kill this camp because there's too many uh, Genevan units near it. Are we on a smallish island? I wonder. I wonder. Scout is going to go up there. Slinger will scout this bit when he's out. You. Wow, these units tanked a lot. Oh, wait. No, camp is gone. That's fine. We got too many good resources around. Look, so many luxuries. It's kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. That's fine. Now let's get our settler out. We got, we're working some very nice tiles. We're getting three extra gold from the truffles. I, I cannot disagree with that. And we met our first neighbor, the Cree. Hello there. May there always be peace between us. We'll see about that. I would love to sample your hospitality. You're sending a scout my way. This is unique Cree scouts, which are a bit stronger than regular scouts. If if he sees my capital, he might decide I'm, I'm weak enough and declare war anyway, despite what he just said. We'll see. We will see. I will send my scout through your territory before you research civics, which would prevent you from doing that. There's a barbarian galley. Now that's a bit rough, certainly. So we did not find a natural wonder. That's okay. I think the galley came from this camp, so I do need to get rid of that. I will need to send my warrior to help. I don't think we can do it otherwise. And this is, seems to be the fastest part. Ooh, we're finding villages. One here, which is good. And one here. So I'm going to cancel that movement because you're going to cross this. You move this way. We met Granada. Obviously not the first we meet. And that's okay. Will you just attack our city? No. Well, Galley can't kill our city anyway. So we finished astrology. We can build holy sites. Now this is not the best terrain for holy sites. Let's be honest here. I'm looking at what we have. I'm looking at what we have. And whew, like, this would be nice, but we're not getting adjacency at all. Which means we might not go super hard on religion. I'll place it here, because it still matters that we make one. Well, I do want a religion anyway. And I want to play around with the district discount mechanic, which means we do need to build lots of districts so we can go for our cheap holy sites first. You go here. Get me another scout. Oh, that's helpful. We'll help clear out the camp. And we will see. And let's get further on our tech. Uh, animal husbandry might give us horses here or here. So it's not useless. So maybe here. Or I could go... And it will help us improve those truffles. Okay, we're getting animal husbandry. We're also getting discipline and god king. Those are fairly standard. I do recommend them. Let's get foreign trade. Because it got boosted. By that village. I'm quite happy for this. Okay, so you're chasing us. And I think if I move here, you will chase us further. We'll check that. That's the thing. You know, how you fight barbarian spearmen early in the game is put a slinger in their face and they will chase up. Ooh! 
Oh, that's a shame. We just finished astrology and then we see this. I would love to settle over there, but obviously there's like... It's way too far from my own lands. Pamukkale is a fun wonder. Well, it usually is, except there's a mountain tile right where we would want to build things to benefit from it. It gives an extra adjacency to things. So when you when there's not a mountain here, Holy Sites gets plus six, three from each tile. Here, it's not as good. It's been corrupted by my land. And there you go, you've moved. And there's a quadruary. Oh my gosh, evil barbarians. However, being on this hill means that we're going to get three extra defense when we do this. Also, did we get... Yeah, we got plus five from Tokimuna's ability. That's nice. Divine Wind. I will still send my sling over there. This quadrary. But... Oh, no! Oh, no! They're going to swoop in and take everything. That's the worst that's literally the worst let's watch this happen okay first you need to finish your turn oh finish over there at least we'll get that one and they got the kill on the i am so unhappy right now you cannot even imagine this oh Oh my goodness. We missed the kill on the uh, on the slinger, which would give me a boost to archery. We missed the village. We missed the money from clearing the camp and the era score from King of the Camp. We missed literally everything. At least we get this, which is 20 faith, which is pretty nice actually. And give us our pantheon faster. But Oh my god. Oh my god. That was brutal. That was brutal. Now the fun thing is, are we getting the we're getting the first Pantheon because of that? Um so I'm feeling like taking a bit of a gamble. We'll take our Pantheon next turn because we're gonna take religious settlements. Usually you don't because you can't get this because it's by far the best in the game. But but if I take in next turn, so the thing is, settler production cost increases fast every time you make one. So we're going to finish this settler, then get a free one. It's better than getting a free one and then finishing that one. And there's a chance another AI player gets a Pantheon in the middle. If that happens, we will have to choose something else. Did I just hear a new camp spawn? Yeah, but it's way too far away. That's fine. That is fine. Oh, I'm, I'm, I am still mad. So we're going to skip skip this. To force the enter and press shift enter. Like that. And now, let's see if we can still get our first Pantheon. So where am I sending this? I'm sending you over there, I think. In the middle of spices. Yes, this and that. So city here. We want to build as many cities as we can. As... Um, Japan. So one city here, then one, two, three. Ah, it's gonna block everything except the bananas. I guess we could build on the bananas. Or one, two, th or build on this. That's interesting. Except the honey could be a temple of Artemis. Wait. Wait. If I settle on the pasture, on the on the cattle, well, mm, we need to think here. We need to think. We have a pretty strong temple of Artemis start. Now that I'm looking at this. Thing. Temple of Artemis should go here. One, two, three. Yes. So this is what we're going to do. Definitely different from my original plan. The Temple of Artemis will go here. I just need to select camp so that it doesn't display as impossible. So to get it though, we're going to need to settle a city out of freshwater. Unless I settle on this tile. One, two, three. Then I can just buy my way to these. You know what? Maybe that's fine. Settle on this. Settle. There you go. One, two, three. One, two, three. I will get the citrus in the second ring, so that will be pretty nice. So you go over there. I'm gonna finish all my units' moves. Though I'm not quite sure what I want to do with them. That's okay. It's not okay. It's not letting me build 
It's not letting me build my Pantheon anymore. I think that means someone else picked the Pantheon. Because there's a weird thing where only one person can get one per turn. But religious settlements are still here. So I'm getting a free second settler. And that's ridiculous. Good, so city here. My third city, I think I'll send over there. Now, we don't want to settle too close to the Cree because we'll get some penalties, loyalty penalties. But with this around, I think this one will survive. I think on the coast or slightly further down. Maybe on this tile for now. And then we'll put one, one, two, three. Hmm. One, two, three. You can't settle here. We need we need some reasonably good and smart city plan. Maybe here. No, because then this would block. Ah, we need to properly use our space, don't we? I think I want to settle this eventually. So one, two, three, four. Which means we need to go here, but that's pretty poor as far as cities go. And obviously we can't do this right now. Unless they just set, settle without housing right here. That's honestly an option. Or right here even. That's a weirdly good option. We're hearing the funky cream music. I, there's so many resources. Mm, so many choices. So many choices. You definitely go over there. But I want to use as much of this land as I can. Which means this and one, two, three, four, that. That's a rubbish city. That really is a rubbish. That one's slightly less rubbish here. Though we can't build a nice harbor either. Well, you know what? We don't want rubbish cities too fast. So we'll instead go settle this one. Temple of Artemis could also go here. One, two, three, four, five. And this is one, two, three, four, five. You know what? Yeah, Temple of Artemis might be more easily achieved around here. Interesting thoughts. We'll see how that goes, because it will take a while before we actually get it. And? Well, we got extra scouts. You, you can go scout over there now. I think to the left will be more interesting. You fight. I need you to get experience before you can actually kill that barbarian camp. I would like to kill that barbarian camp though. Someone got a great profit because they built Stonehenge. That's how it goes. Good. We finished our holy site already. We don't even need to make a new settler now because we have two. Which so we can work on a monument or on a shrine. Both will be fine, honestly. Let's work on um, Shrine for now. Shrine, yeah, Shrine. Gives us better hope of getting a religion. No one else has actually built a holy site. I just, well, I'm looking here. No holy sites have been built. Just the prophet is done from Stonehenge. So we got the first holy site of the game out, which is pretty good feeling. So, excellent. You skip. What just happened? You've been building things. That's okay. You have a settler, which is fun news. You settle second city. Hello, Takamatsu. You're gonna build a holy site as well. Again, rubbish, rubbish adjacency. Ah, oh, we get a wait, get a plus one because it's next to the city center. Obviously, it's absolutely rubbish. That's okay. The fact that we're getting rubbish adjacency tells me that we're probably not going to go... You finished that camp already. Oh my god, so fast. So fast. So we're going to miss out on any any boost which requires me to fight with barbarians. We can buy ourselves our first builder. Why are we getting pottery? Why are we getting pottery instead of mining? I am not sure. It doesn't quite matter at this stage. We'll want pottery for irrigation later. But right now we want mining to get... Uh, I think we're going to put quarries... Here. Well... At least this one. Because that will be a nice tile to work for a bit. That one we might just remove the quarry and eventually put a district. I am not... I am not fighting you. I just wanted to help you clear out barbarians. Aww. Anyway, scouts go over there. Away from his place. So he won't... He won't think I'm aggressive anymore. 
And I'm getting those truffles. I'm gonna sell them to him. Can I? I can. Good. Send my scout around. He denounced me. Because my... Seriously? Already? And he denounced me, which means, oh, we, I, can't, I can't build a holy site. I would need to remove that, and I don't want to. So, you're not building it for now. That's okay. Uh, he's announced me, which gives him a pretty good chance of just trying to kill me. So, we're gonna... Should we work on archery? Let's get mining and then archery. You're gonna keep scouting. We need to... Oh, horses! Over there. Horses do exist. Nice. You keep scouting. He has archers. That's slightly scary. Foreign trade. We got that, which is good. We don't need God King at all. So let's get our initial production. And let's work towards craftsmanship. Mostly because we might want the Goji to make units at the last second. And the Slinger is going to move closer to the Kree. Just so that we can scout whether he's going to send anything towards us. And Warrior's going to go home for defense. For reasons. I can't believe he hates me. Ooh, hello, Matthias. Hello. It's an honor to meet you. I would love your hospitality. You're building to have a great bath. Sure, have it. Have your great bath. So, in terms of Kree units, there's just one near me. Oh, the great thing is we met Matthias, so we can sell him our stuff. 75 is not enough gold. But we're going to monitor this. And we need to monitor... Ooh, here's some units. That's okay. This means there's probably going to be a barbarian camp somewhere. You, again, move slightly closer. Oh, this is too close. The, the prompt showed up. And we're getting mining, so we're going to put... We want to get the booths to craftsmanship quite fast. So we could just put two pastures over there. But this would be a nice tile to increase. So I think we're going to put a quarry over there. We'll give us a boost as well. We met a new city-state, which is Samarkand. Not sure how to pronounce that. They want me to get a great general. It will happen eventually, but not right now. Okay, you're a bit too close. Are we seeing... I think we're seeing units come closer, though. Now that might be bad. We might die. We might... Okay, we're definitely dying. We need, we need archery ASAP. But the man stole my archery boost. So... We're gonna finish this. You don't need your holy site. You need to make a warrior. And... If he declares war on the next turn, we might be in trouble. You're going to finish the shrine because it only needs three production. You're going to make slingers as well. Okay, here's a camp that Matthias is going to clear out instantly. At the very least, my slinger is nice to save. The slinger has the garrison promotion, which helps. I'm going to... You're going to skirt around because there's a chance you just die. You finish that, you make a slinger as well. You make the quarry. You get extra production. You just stay. You know what's very good for us? Is that we've got this hill and then all these forests and jungle tiles. Which means this archer will basically need to stay within one range if it wants to actually shoot at me. This will be very hope helpful later on. Yeah, I think war is coming. There's a chance they're going to do this weird AI thing where they just go for the capital. And you're going to go put a... Over there. They're going to just go for the capital and ignore Takamatsu, which would honestly not be the worst thing for me. And uh, we can't really go over there despite seeing Samarkand. So, gosh, look at these tiles. Three, three spices on hills and woods. And you have them as well. Gosh, Hungary is probably going to have a good game. In terms of cities, well, we all have three cities, incredibly enough, because I've I've been lucky with the Pantheon business. So, is it happening? They're just ignoring that city and just going straight for the capital, huh? That's giving me more time to finish my archery research. So, I'm not necessarily unhappy about that. Ooh, here's a scout dude. In which case, we're going to make third slinger. That's what we're going to make. I think, I think, uh... 
Yeah, I think we're going to make a third slinger. We'll get two archers this way. But as long as they're not archers, I should leave them pretty far away. You keep scouting that way. Ooh, barbarian arch. Barbarian archers. Ouch, that's going to suck for Matthias. And you are going to attack. Bonk. And then he's going to promote and heal. Think oh gosh, you're you're suffering, huh? Okay, you're gonna go back. Change my mind. Should I switch this to a uh, warrior? Is this on a hill? No. So if I move so my okay, well you go back here for now. You you're safe here, which is great, but short term. I think you go here just to attract some attention. We, honestly, we might just die. You attack. I think I, I should have made a warrior. And I can still, still switch to a warrior. We're going to get a goji in two turns, thanks to this finishing up. So that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, we're doing it this way. So, I think next turn we're getting war declared on us. Oh, more units. Okay, you need to stay here then. You go here. You gonna kill that scout and then promote. Full use of your health. You need to go over there. Oh, can I sell my oh Matthias found truffles of his own. Is that it? If I click on make deal, we can see he has truffles of his own. So I can't sell them anymore. Which is a shame. Which is a shame. Um two turns for archery. Kyoto is getting... Uh, if the Barbarians also get in, this is going to suck very muchly. Let's go. Oh, you can build this. Oh, that's huge. Because it gives me craftsmanship. So I can switch to a Goji and build this warrior. And now only two turns, which helps. Archery comes out in one turn. And this warrior comes out faster as well. Uh, let's go towards state workforce. Doesn't quite matter at this stage. Or early empire. Uh, does not quite matter at this stage. Okay, he hasn't declared war yet. That That's pretty huge, giving me one extra turn to survive. I'm leaving the slinger here because he'll get a boost from his garrison promotion. Even though usually you might want to put the warrior in just to increase the city's defense strength. We, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Uh, we got you out. You can shoot at this. That gives you free experience. It's not useless. You... Wait. You are not done killing this scout. And this is probably war now. Not yet. Okay. We can upgrade. I need one more gold. And... Unfortunately, I have nothing to sell, but I'll get one gold next turn. That's pretty massive, actually. You fortify. This warrior needs to move. That's okay. You're gonna make another warrior. Another archer? Other archer. Fine. Fine. That's fine. We got archery. Given how war worry this game has gone, I think we're gonna possibly go towards bronze working. Instead of our initial plan. Unfortunately, I can't boost it because the Kree have destroyed all the barbarians that I want to destroy. You heal up because you're really way too fragile. There you go. Here's the war. Ah, justice requires that you just figured that out because, gosh, you're almost you're almost dead already. Um, how am I doing this? I need to upgrade my archer. My slinger. That's just necessary because then he can really destroy units. You need. You're gonna die probably, which is unfortunate. But might not. Can you? Wait. Ha! Huh, I can cheat basically. You're not supposed to be able to have two units here, but the game lets my warriors stop. I can then skip my end turn phase. That's fine, I'll do that. More barbarians. Are you serious? So I got an archer here, which is huge. I'm going to attack their archer. If you fortify, do you die? Is this a hill? We've looked at that before. It's not a hill. I think... 
Well, the archer can't shoot at him, so he might survive one turn. No, he won't. If both of these attack, he will die. But it's better to tank now than later. So that's fine. You skip your turn. We're going to forcefully end turn. And shall we finish the holy site? Or, yeah, we're going to finish the holy site. Let's look at the profit race. I'm still the first person on the profit race. Maybe I shouldn't finish the holy site then. And you got a strong archer here. No, you're, this city's fine. Yeah, but... No. Nah. Yeah, finish the holy site. We might be fine. We might die. Forcefully end turn. Yeah. That's about par for the course. Now, barbarians are in fact helping me. Which is great. And I can kill this person. But no, the city center is not really in danger anymore. So I will, in fact... Attack this. You can't shoot anymore, so I will need to move the warrior here. That's fine. I will shoot at this Okitator here with my archer. And I think we'll have stabilized soonish. You can heal up now, finally. There you go. We might get thrown in a dark cage. Oh, they've attacked here, which isn't the worst thing, because you can now. So if you click Fortify, then Counsel and Promote, I've heard that this actually counts as being both Fortified and being both Fortified and uh, getting the promotion, which is awesome. We're gonna kill this. Takamatsu is not in danger of dying. Our Holy Sight is dying, unfortunately, but... No, that really sucks, because then we'll stop getting great profit points. Oh no, you moved out. Good. You're still alive, but you will die if I don't move you. So we need to think this out. I will shoot at this archer. I've got two archers now. One of them has an available promotion, so you will move out and shoot. And you will shoot as well but on this person. No, nope, on this one. Just so that nothing gets pillaged anymore. And phew, we made it. We can repair the shrine. Only one turn to repair it, which is good. You... So you will die. No, you will just barely survive it. Yeah, but there's no point. So I'm going to move you here. You go over there. There we go. Here's that camp I knew existed. More archers coming up. There's Quadroon here. Galley attacking Tokyo. Tokyo has growth, which is great. Tokyo does need a holy site. And honestly... We might destroy these, in which case I should have post put it put it up earlier. But uh, yeah, that sucks. It really kind of sucks, but we need to get a holy side up going up here. Okay, you can shoot. Get your experience. You can shoot as well. Destroy this one. Good. You can wait one turn. Kill up. You can promote. Get yourself garrison. Garrison is huge for these defensive bonuses. You can finish the whole site now. We're good. When's the era ending? Seven turns. Barbarian horse archers. Oh, isn't that cute? You need to run away. And Kyoto finished building, which is good. You're going to build a trader or another warrior. The trader is pretty good because we could trade with, well, get ourselves a boost. I guess it's not huge. Uh, granary, monument, those are all good. I got. One warrior, three archers. Let's get ourselves a warrior. Let's get ourselves a warrior. Okay. You've survived. You can kill this archer. We need to get rid of all these barbarians. Oh, look! This is where they're all coming from. Goodness gracious. Is this a good start or a terrible start? I'm not sure anymore. This warrior needs to heal up, he needs to heal faster, so I'll move him within my territory. Maybe attract some attacks, which might not be the worst thing either. You have pretty low pr production, but good foods. You're going to grow. When you grow, you're going to get one more production after that, so that would be fine. Uh, I'm going to build... It doesn't quite matter, I guess. You don't need a... Oh, you will need a granary, because you're getting a housing cap quite soon. Eh. Doesn't matter. Get yourself a monument. Production is too low for any of this to actually matter anyway. 
think we're safe over there. I want to get rid of the barbarians though, so you're gonna move here. See what the quadrillion does. Oh! That's no good. Get over there. Do not. Ah, we're ambushed! The quadrillion did, did attack us. Okay, that's fine. You shoot this. You. Shooting the quadrillion is pretty ineffective. It only gives one experience. Uh, the capital is on a hill, so if I'm on this, I can't shoot at the quadrillion, unfortunately. So fine, I'll put you here. You know what? This means we will be able to get the boost from killing barbarian units, though. At least the one for bronze working. So we can switch away from bronze working in towards irrigation, because we've got some nice plantations to get. And we have no rice, uh, no rice or wheat at all. Or maize. Are you going to die? Quite likely. Unless the barbarians attack the Orchikator. Orchikator. Which they didn't. That's fair. We got some more units, which is great. Uh, you go here, shoot the warrior. Bonk. You could shoot this person. You can promote to a second promotion. That's excellent. The man still has 202 military strength, even though we've been grinding this out. Um, my warrior can't really do anything. Oh, okay. Warrior goes here. You need to shoot their warrior, because otherwise this archer will suffer quite a lot of damage. You finished a warrior. This is great. You're going to get... Uh, gra we, we need granary and monument. We need everything. We need trader as well. We need everything at this stage. I'll, I'll have you get the trader. Four, turn, four turns left of Ancient Era. Gosh, we thought this started well. And then we got massacred attack. We don't need a goji anymore. I will get conscription because just gold. Gold is nice, isn't it? You can promote. You can't shoot, but you need to heal for a bit. You will promote. That's fine. Get garrison. Garrison is great. You're going to defend just because that will get you extra experience later on. You, if you move here, well, no, I need your extra promotion. So you get that. We got our first government, governor. No government yet, and it's probably wait city states. We can get Geneva on our side if we just send the money there. That might be quite useful. Geneva will give us extra science once we're not at war, and that's not quite useful yet. But we might just levy their warriors. Yeah, yeah, let's send the money. It will also help us. So we're going to get a Dark Age for sure. But we're going to get a Heroic Age after that. Thanks in particular to Amani. Good, let's get Early Empire. And we can build our second district. Not quite yet. Warrior is just tanking. That's okay. You can shoot here. We need to kill that Quadrarium. You can shoot if you're here. That's quite good. You're gonna shoot this one. It's not on wood, so it has less defense. You healed up. You might want to move. I like that he's just farming experience from sitting here. All right, you stay here one more turn at least. Oh, we, since we're at war, we should go pillage their stuff. I, I have this cap healed. Let's get open borders from Hungary. You want 14 gold? I will give you 14 gold. And also, now that we've, I've mentioned that, do we want Hungary to join this war? Sometimes it happens. If I give you one gold, do you want to? No. Even giving 42 gold, you don't want to. Are you friends? They're friends. That's the problem. So good thing Hungary hasn't joined the war against us, I guess. Sir, oh, more units. I made a trader. The trader will go to Tokyo because any other trader might just get pillaged. Or it, I can send it from Tokyo. Or I can just go to Geneva. No, that's risky. Or I can go from Takamatsu to Geneva. Now, we don't really want to trade it over there. I think I'm going to send it to Tokyo. That's fine. The less risky. And it will give us extra food once the 
once the, the this holy site finishes. Okay, so you shoot. Not quite a kill. That's okay. I want to kill the quadrarine. There you go. Gives us bronze working. That's what we wanted. So we can now build encampments. I might just build an encampment like here. Honestly, I might very well. Reason is, we seem to be locked in a big war. So even though I'm not a fan of encampments, this might be the time. So, oh, but we're not getting a discount yet. 40, uh, 49 production, we are. Wait. Ah... Uh, no, we, I need to think about this. 49 means it's being discounted. Even though we've built two districts and I have unlocked three types. There you go. I'm still not quite as familiar with district discount mecha mechanics as I want. Unfortunately, there's no place to put it because we need to buy a tile and we don't have enough money for that. Can I sell anything? No. So no encampment for me. That's okay. Oh, I think it's discount. Oh, here's the thing. Okay. This is discounted because we unlocked it in the middle of a turn by getting a boost. So it will get undiscounted at the end of that turn. Oh, that's very unfortunate. But I'm pretty sure this is how it works. You, Mr. Warrior, you're gonna... I'm gonna need you to clear out this. And we've killed the quadri... No, there's another quadri... Oh my god. You can go back and shoot, unless this is a hill. It's not. Okay, shoot. Destroy that. Doing pretty well. This warrior is mostly healed up. But there's a, there's another Okitsuto here, so take it slow. You go here. We're going to pillage that tile and get some faith from it. We can build a government plaza. Oh, we can build a government plaza then. But again, we want it at a good spot. The spot I wanted at is probably here because there'll be an industrial zone and then like a theater square. So we can't. No, we're not building... We're not building districts yet. That's okay. So, yeah, you're getting destroyed. We entered the classical era. Well, you know what that means? It means, first off, Takamatsu is losing loyalty. That'll be fine. We'll put, like, uh, we'll put Pingala over there. And then we'll put Magnus in the capital. But, end of era, end of video. This is long enough of a video already. And, uh, goodness gracious, we're being attacked so hardcore but you can see this is starting to catch up at least we have three cities two holy sites and we're still gonna get the second religion which is pretty good we might get some good bonuses from that okay that's the end of this i'll see you next time for the classical era where we hopefully repel these people and maybe take a few cities back in exchange but we can't really take cities because we're in a dark age and they're in a golden age so we'll never be able to keep anything so we might just raise that as retribution or oh, take it then give it back in a peace deal that sounds like a plan good thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye